producing is my biggest pride, man. Because I like making music. You know what I'm saying? The the A and R and the management came with the fact that I was responsible. The A and R came with the fact that I really knew how to make this shit happen. Not beyond it had to be my beat, but I'll find this artist a beat that was from someone else that was hot and perfect for. Him. Or I'll find this feature that was perfect for you, and then that shit made it a hit. Or get this person on this record, or use this mix engineer. So that A and R thing. You know, probably second because that shit I did in my sleep because when we were fifth, it was so much work we was doing. I couldn't do all those beats. We was making records four or five times in, in one day. So Banks need a record. I can't, I ain't got, I'm not even able to make a beat. They're at my house every day at this point. So my shit had to come on the two days they weren't at my house. So so after a while, it was like, yo, I'm gonna get this beat from 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 from, from Rockwilder. I'm gonna get this beat, you know what I'm saying, from 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 anyone, you know what I'm saying? Jake One, whoever it was at the time, and just help all these other producers as well get their music out there. And it was never about the name, it was always about the quality of music, and that's all we cared about. That shit had to be hot. How the music management came for production, the money management group was, so I'm watching my competitors, like I'm competitive, so we roam with G-Unit, we got all these albums coming. I know, like you, I said, I couldn't do all the beats. And I'm getting beats from known dudes and the shit ain't, ill or they want to only do the sessions where they play the beat with the artists is in the, the studio they won't send you the beat so i can't get nobody to send that unless 50s in the room with them banks is in the room with them and these dudes is like only trying to be in my basement they ain't trying to be in nobody's room so these dudes missing out on opportunities man so so now i start calling all these yo these these hungry dudes like yo send me this send me that boom i, I hire this kid d prosper Shout out to D Prosper, and he was a music lover, bro. He got this thing called Soul in the Horn, right? And he helped me infrastructure this whole thing where we started building a whole bunch of bass to compete with hip hop, because hip hop was doing Just Blaze, and he was doing Kanye at the time, and he was building that with those guys, and he had a few other guys, Nike One, to come in. So he was like, yo, we about to get our own squad. In comes Jake One, in comes the business. All dudes from Seattle that was fucking crazy. Jake One was fire, right? And then here, 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 here comes Ill Mind. Here comes fucking Nick Speed. Here comes fucking Black Jeruz. Here comes Chad Beats. Here comes fucking, did I say Ill Mind already? Here comes High Tech, the big homie. You know what I'm saying, Lynn? Because I I met Tech again through Dre because he was doing music through Dre. And when he gave us beats for 50, I was like, yo. He gave it through Dre. Dre played it. I was like, yo, well, I got to get with Tech. And me and Tech connected and, and formed a good bond. And then from there, we just... We just started going, man. We started getting busy, man. And I was taking their music and uh, using it for everything we was doing and, and sending it to everyone that was listening for music, man. And, and we kept it going, man.